Hey y'all, so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my Holy Grail drugstore beauty products and these are the items that I absolutely love that I think are better than my high-end stuff and that are literally so, so affordable. I have them in like almost every single color because I love them that much. So if you love drugstore makeup, don't forget to give me a thumbs up so I know and I can do more videos telling you what's fantastic at the drugstore. And also, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more of my videos and yeah, let's just get into my Holy Grail drugstore beauty products. So first and foremost, let's start with foundation since it is the base of your makeup and my favorite drugstore foundation has to go to the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. I love this just for every day because it gives you such a fresh look but it still has a lot, a lot of coverage and I have really, really dry skin and this works amazing for me. I have friends that have really oily skin and this works for them as well. But I'd say if you're looking for a foundation that's perfect for every day, feels like you're not wearing anything but gives you really good coverage and makes your skin look flawless, I would definitely go with this one. It's literally just perfect for every single day. Next I have some blushes that are amazing from the drugstore that I think every girl needs and they are the Milani Rose Blushes. First of all, ooh. First of all, they're just really, really pretty because they look like roses, but they're also really, really good. They're super pigmented, but not too pigmented like some of the blushes at the drugstore, like the Wet n Wild ones. Those are a little too crazy for me personally. These also blend really well, and they're such a good color variation, and they're super, super affordable, and you get so much product. So clearly, I have three of them. The first one I have is Coral Cove, which is a bright matte coral, which will be really pretty in the summertime. Then I also have American Beauty Rose, which is a pretty like mauve matte shade, which is good for every day. And then I also have the shade Tea Rose, which is what I'm wearing today on my cheeks. And it's just a matte, light, rosy, kind of dusty pink. And I absolutely love these. I want to say that there are about six colors total in the collection, so you'll definitely be able to find a shade that's perfect for you. And they're just great and pretty, and I love them. Sticking with Milani, my next Holy Grail beauty product has to go to their eyeshadow primer. And this stuff is literally $4 at the drugstore, and it is amazing. It's better than my Lorac one. It's better than the Urban Decay one. It just works really, really well. It's just a good thing to have in your collection. And for only four bucks, it's a total steal. So if you haven't tried this yet, you definitely should. Next, I have eyeshadows. And these are seriously the best shadows that you can find at the drugstore, if you ask me. They are the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Shadows. I have eight of them. And they are just pressed pigments that are so like metallic and beautiful and pigmented and they blend out like a dream and you would never guess that they are like seven dollars you know they are so so good I have a lot of colors I use three of them on my eye look today a couple of my favorites are the amber rush one which is a really pretty rose gold I also used ice latte as like an inner corner highlight and this one is super comparable to the Stila kitten eyeshadow which is good and then I also really like the bronze tone Nope shadow which I have in my outer corner today and it's just a really pretty like bronze taupe like if you mix them together you get the shadow but all of these are just so pigmented and they're so smooth. I'll include swatches for you guys so you can really see how amazing and beautiful these shadows are but if I could recommend only one shadow for you guys to pick out out of the whole like infallible shadow collection I would definitely go with Amber Rush just because this is so pretty just on its own all over the lid and it's also just a really unique color so these are fantastic. Obviously I have to throw in a mascara in here because drugstore mascaras are amazing. You can definitely find um really, really good ones, a variety of really, really good ones at the drugstore for less than 10 bucks. But my current favorite mascara from the drugstore has to go to the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara. This is just amazing. First of all, the packaging looks very, very bland, it looks super basic, it looks like this isn't going to do too much for your lashes, but it's very deceiving because this will do everything for your lashes. I'm wearing it today and it makes them long, it makes them full, it makes them fluttery, it separates, but it's still like adds volume it's just it does everything you need it to do um the wand is kind of bland as well but it's kind of like in a triangle formation so it's a little 
thicker at the top and teenier at the bottom and I don't know it's just amazing and if you haven't tried this mascara yet you totally should. I have one brow product that is a more recent discovery but it seriously is amazing and I can't stop singing its praises. It is the L'Oreal Paris Brow Stylist Definer Pencil. This is literally the exact same as the Anastasia Brow Wiz but for half the price. Comes with a spoolie on one side, a really teeny tiny pencil that lasts all day. It looks very natural and hair like. I'm using it in my brows today. It's just amazing. I don't know what else I can say about it but yeah you need to try this. Moving on to lips, I have a couple lip liners, which honestly doesn't seem like the most exciting thing, but it's something that I can go through pretty quickly, so I don't want to buy like a really expensive lip liner and have to buy it all the time. But my favorites from the drugstore that are super, super comparable to my high-end favorites, if not better than my high-end favorites, have to go to my Rimmel London Exaggerate Lip Liners. I have four of them. Um, pretty good color variation, if you ask me. I have a light neutral pink one in the shade East End Stop, which is one of the ones I use most often and then I also have Rapture which is a really pretty dark dark vampy red then I have the shade Ravish which is a little bit more brownie and then I have a neutral shade in the shade Innocent which is good to use for those super nude looks but overall I love these because they're so creamy and comfortable to wear they make your lipsticks on top last so much longer and they're really really cheap they're like four maybe five dollars at the drugstore and they have so many different colors they're just fantastic and for lipsticks I also have to go with the Rummel London Kate Moss lipsticks because they are so so good and they are so consistently good literally every color I've tried I've swatched I own so so good and they have a good color variation so they'll find like the perfect nude for you the perfect like coral for you the perfect dark vampy lip that's just amazing currently I'm wearing the shade 104 on my lips and it feels super good it's very matte but it doesn't feel like a matte and again these are super super cheap because Rimmel London is very very affordable I want to say that these are about five dollars the lipstick maybe a little bit less and they're just great and my final holy grail drugstore beauty product is kind of pushing the envelope for what is considered drugstore but I wanted to include it anyways just because you can still find it at Target which is you know drugstore to me and it's amazing like it's totally worth the money it's the pixie skin treats glow tonic exfoliating toner as you can tell I've used a lot of it because I'm down to like here but this little bottle is about $15 from Target and it is amazing literally it's the best toner if you just want your skin to be brightened a little bit um, I use this basically every single night before I go to sleep after I wash my face before I put on my moisturizer and it just makes my skin look really good I absolutely love it and I'm really excited to try out some more of their skincare lines since they're bringing more to Target I know that this might be a little expensive for drugstore especially for a toner but I do think skincare is something that you should invest in and really $15 is a steal for this so if you haven't tried it you totally should alright everyone so those are my drugstore holy grail Beauty products. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, check me out on social media, all that good stuff. And in the comments, let me know what are some of your drugstore holy grail products so I can maybe go check them out. But yeah, that is everything for today's video, and I will see you again on Wednesday.